Hello, Soldier 76. This is Athena. I will be guiding you through the Overwatch training program. Now, where is she? Wait for me! Hiya! Tracer here! Now, use your controls to watch Tracer as she moves through the room. Over here! Excellent. Now watch Tracer as she moves over to launch control. Here I am! Good. Let's continue to the movement section of the program. You can move forwards and backwards in the direction you're looking. You can also move left and right. Please follow Tracer as she moves around the hangar. Continue following Tracer. Keep following Tracer. I think you have the hang of it. Jump up and follow Tracer to the target range. Bye! Welcome to the target range. Move to the highlighted area. Let's begin combat training. Your portrait is displayed in the lower left corner of your screen. That's you, Soldier 76. Next to it is your current health. If it reaches zero, you die. Your primary weapon is your heavy pulse rifle. Let me get you something to shoot at. You aim through the crosshairs in the middle of your screen. Move them over your target, then fire. Nicely done. You can also strike targets near you with a melee attack. Move next to the target, aim, then strike it with your rifle. <laughs> Not all targets will be as easy to hit as this one. I am deploying some mobile training bots for you to destroy. Note the red outline around the robots. All enemies will be marked in this manner. Damaging an enemy will display their current health above their head. Most weapons have a limited amount of ammo before they need to be used. Your weapon's current status is displayed here, in the bottom right of the screen. If you run out of ammo, you will automatically reload. You can also manually reload at any time. There is one bot remaining. Great work. That covers the basics of your weapon. The next phase of the training program will focus on your abilities. Let's begin with Sprint. First move to the highlighted area in the center of the room. Activate Sprint to run while moving forward. Note that you cannot fire your weapon while sprinting. Good. In addition to Sprint, you also have the ability to heal yourself with Biotic Field. To demonstrate it, I need to damage you slightly. <coughs> now, deploy a biotic field. Stand within the glowing area to heal. Note that you will have to wait a short time before using that ability again. This cooldown time is displayed over the ability icon. In addition to your rifle's standard mold of fire, it is also equipped with helix rockets. You can launch a volley of rockets in the direction you're aiming. The rockets explode on contact. I have prepared a set of targets for you. Fire your helix rockets at the targets. Finally, let me explain Tactical Visor. Activating your Tactical Visor is your ultimate ability. These powerful abilities can change the course of a game. You must fully charge your ultimate ability before you can use it. Your current charge level is displayed here, at the bottom of your screen. Charge your tactical visor by damaging the training box. Once the meter reaches 100%, your ultimate is 50% charged. Your ultimate is always fully charged. Your tactical visor is charged. 
The tactical visor automatically aims your rifle at targets near your reticle, so that your shots do not miss. Now, activate your tactical visor and open fire. I've got you in my sights. Nice work, Soldier 76. For the final phase of the training program, we'll go over capturing objectives. Your current objective is indicated with a directional marker, labeled A. Head through the open door and proceed to the objective. The objective is marked with a bright outline on the ground. To capture it while you are within the area, you make progress towards capturing the objective. Your current progress is displayed here on your screen. If there are enemies in the area with you, capture progress is paused. You've captured the objective. Well done. You can now try a practice game versus AI, replay the tutorial, or face off against other players.